If you've recently ran a PageSpeed Insights test and got the recommendation to efficiently encode images, this video is here to help you today. Now, if you're unaware, efficiently encoding images means optimizing images to reduce their file size without compromising the quality. See, what matters the most here is that we want to compress the image to reduce the file size, but we also want to maintain good quality to not impact the user experience. As if you over compress an image, it will be much faster, but users will probably be wondering what it is they're even looking at just like on screen right now. With our quick explanation, you are seeing this message because Google detects that some of your images could be optimized and compressed. And to give you a more technical explanation, Lighthouse scans the images displayed on the page and sets the compression level to 85%. If the potential saving is four kibibytes or greater, PageSpeed Insights reports the image and flags it in the potential savings column. And now that you know that, without any further ado, let's go over two effective ways to efficiently encode images and fix these PageSpeed Insights recommendations. Number one is to compress your image. Like we said before, image compression reduces the image file while retaining quality. Remember though, if you are over compressing the image, it will load faster, but this will lead to a worse user experience. When it comes to image compression, it should almost be invisible to the naked eye. On the screen right now, I'll show you an unoptimized image at 800 kilobytes and an optimized image, which is only 134 kilobytes. As you can see, there's no visible quality difference and you can get the benefits of a faster loading website. And number two is to convert images to WebP. If you don't know, WebP is a next gen image format that provides a superior compression level for images. According to Google study, WebP lossless images are 26% smaller in size compared to PNGs. And WebP lossy images are 25 to 34% smaller than comparable JPEG images. On the screen right now is a screenshot from the Google WebP developers. And you can see that the WebP file has a smaller file size. And good news, the WebP format also works with PNG transparent images images with the same performance outcome. Now, after explaining the two ways to get rid of the recommendation, let's show you how to actually implement this on your WordPress website. And we're gonna be doing this with a WordPress plugin named Imagify. Imagify is the image optimization plugin that allows you to compress your image without compromising on quality. So let's go to the computer and show you how to do it. Okay, so let's say that we wanna upload this photo onto our website. In the back end of WordPress here, we'll go to media and then add new. Now we're just gonna drag and drop our photo and upload it onto WordPress just like usual. Now what we can do is we can click on edit once it's uploaded to see more details about the photo. As you can see, the file size is currently one megabyte and Imagify is working on optimizing the photo. Now if we go back into our library, we can see that Imagify has finished the image optimization process. If we click on view details here, it will show us more details about the image optimization process. So as we can see, the original file size, like I said, was about one megabyte and the new file size is 633 kilobytes. Now what's also really cool is if you're curious to see on how much your image is actually compressed, if you highlight over the image, we can go to compare original versus optimized. And once we click on this, you will see there's a sliding element. This way you can actually see how much the image compression is actually affecting the quality of your image. And then if we go to the top here and click on Imagify and go to settings, once we scroll down a little bit more, we can learn more about the WebP format optimization. So there's a checkbox to create WebP versions of images, as well as display images in WebP format on the site. Now also, let's say you have a lot of images on your website, Imagify actually has a bulk optimization tool. So if we scroll back up here, click Imagify and go to bulk optimization, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. So as you can see right now, we're at 100% because all the images on this website are optimized. But if we scroll down, there's actually a place where we can click the Imagify them all button and it will run the bulk optimization process. Now, if this video has helped you, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you wanna learn more about the core web vitals and how they can impact your website's performance, watch this playlist right here. Goodbye and have a good day.